As most of you would know, I really have difficulty finding the words to describe a certain situation. But how on earth do you describe the New South Wales Liberal Party, which for the next 32 days, not even five weeks, will be telling us they have a plan, vote Liberal. You can forget the National Party, their leader Tool couldn't persuade anyone to vote National. He shouldn't be the leader. The Bushies are fed up. But one after another, they tell me they are voting One Nation. But back to the Liberal Party, they have a plan. That's the sort of Marxist talk about controlled economies. Government knows best. I mentioned last week about the appalling New South Wales government economic record with a budget last year of $95 billion, including a $27 billion spending spree in this financial year, and the money keeps falling out of trees to try to bribe voters. Annual expenditure growth, as Mark Latham's early reminded us, of 26.5% breaking Gough Whitlam's record, who was the gold medalist of unfunded expenditure. His 1974 budget increased outlays by 24.7%. The New South Wales Treasurer Keane, cheered on by Dominic Perrottet, called it a once-in-a-generation reform budget, but expenditure growth 26.5%. But it keeps going. Now we're told teachers have been offered a $4,000 cash bonus, as if that will solve the education problems. The problem of education is not teachers' salaries, but what is being taught. And teachers are voting with their feet. Why would you want to be involved in this critical profession of teaching where there's virtually no discipline? The teacher is powerless. The syllabus is crowded with wokeism and the classrooms become a propaganda instrument. This is the crisis in education. However, put all that aside. Look at this mess. An upper house MP, Peter Poulos, is getting his just desserts, an appalling piece of work. He's been taken off the Liberal upper house ticket for sharing explicit photos of a female colleague. Is that all that's going to happen to him? Damien Chudhope, a good man, back in 2018, actually resigned his seat of Epping in the lower house to allow Dominic Perrottet to stay in the parliament. Way back in 2018, Perrottet was the member for Hawkesbury. He then decided it was too far away to meet his work lifestyle balance, poor chap. So he thought he'd move to Castle Hill. Ray Williams had other ideas. Perrottet couldn't beat Ray Williams in a pre-selection, so a factional deal was done. Premier Berejiklian tried to shift Damien Tudhope into the upper house, out of the seat of Epping, so that Perrottet could move into Epping. But in the pre-selection for the upper house, Damien Tudhope had no opponent except an empty chair. He lost the pre-selection to the empty chair. The state executive then exercised its special powers and gave the nod to Mr Tudhope for the upper house and Perrottet got Epping. Well, now Tudhope has resigned over his shareholdings in the toll giant Transurban. He claims he didn't know his superannuation fund held the shares. Knowing Tudhope as I do, I am sure he's telling the truth. But then you have a parliamentary inquiry into alleged branch stacking, which was, I talked about this last night, wants to interview the Premier's brothers and they mysteriously have gone missing. Then you've got the member for Camden, Peter Sidgraves, accused of bullying and lies. It is open warfare. The very able David Elliott, who in the redistribution couldn't win pre-selection for the lower house, was thought by many to be the ideal candidate to replace the grub Poulos in the upper house. But in the last 24 hours, word had it, had it, H-A-D, <laughs> past tense, that the massive left winger Jackie Munro had the numbers. <laughs> this is the woman who said recently on Q&A, it's fundamentally a conservative idea, or perhaps a liberal idea, that you want to strengthen the institutions that govern us well. And I think that The Voice does that beautifully in recognising our first people in that founding document, the Constitution. Well, she's kidding, of course, but she's gone now. <laughs> the factions have decided she's too big a risk. 